Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den Legacy Internet Radio. Thank you, thank you, thank you for rocking with us and rocking with me as we get through the final stages of the show. We appreciate y'all for staying with us. Uh, outstanding show. Just outstanding show. We had a lot that we did tonight, a lot that we're going to get into tonight. Uh, and this is the part of the show where we kind of give our ending salutations and our thank yous and all that kind of stuff. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. But before we do that, I uh, want to make sure that we get the thank yous. Uh, well, we already said that. I want to make sure that we get through to the ending pieces of the show, the history, the missing child and that sort of thing. So I want to do the missing child first. Today we're list- we're looking for Zaharia Alexander. She's missing from right here in the Cab City, Henrico, Virginia. She's 16 year old black female. Uh, she stands four foot nine. She weighs 135 pounds. She's got brown hair and brown eyes. She was last seen October 9, 2017, wearing a blue shirt and a black jacket. If you have seen Zaharia Alexander, please contact the National Center for Missing and or Exploited Children on their website missingkids.org or contact them by phone at 1-800-THE-LOST, 1-800-843-5678 or contact the Henrico County Police Department. They are a part of us here in Richmond, Virginia. Their phone number is 804-501-501. 5000 804-501-5000 is the number 804-501-5000 ain't no half step with marks j live from the den legacy and that radio all right uh today's history moment there's a lot there's a whole lot and i want to take a few minutes to get into some of those uh one of my favorite quotes ever you can pray until you faint but if you don't get up and try to do something god is not going to put it in your lap and there's no need of running and saying, honey, I'm not going to get in the mess. Because if you was born in America with a black face, you was born in the mess. That quote came from Fannie Lou Hamer, who would have been 100 years old today. She was born on October 16, 1917. Fannie Lou Hamer. Look her up. She was a dope, dope, dope sister. Uh, in 1855, more than 100 delegates from six states uh, held a black convention in Philadelphia. John Mercer Langston, one of the first blacks to win public office, was elected clerk of Brownhelm Township, Lorraine County, Ohio. In 1856, he was elected clerk of the township of Russia near Oberlin. In 1857, he was elected to the Council of the Incorporated Village of Oberlin. From 1871 to 78, Langston was president of the Board of Health of D.C. 1889, he was elected to the U.S. Congress from Virginia. The pioneer black lawyer also served as minister to Haiti and vice president of Howard University. Uh, Desmond Tutu was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. He's an activist from Africa, 1984. Uh, Maynard Jackson was elected mayor of Atlanta, Georgia, 1973. And one of my favorites here is 1995 22 years ago today the nation of islam's minister louis farrakhan called over one million black men together in washington dc for a day of atonement and reconciliation the day called for black men to take charge of their lives and communities by showing respect for themselves and devotion to their families just a quick anecdote for me with regards to the million man march in 1995 i was a senior in, in, in university at Virginia Union University at the time I uh, had a professor who told us that if we skipped that day that he would fail us for the year it was a Tuesday and I decided that I was not going to go because I could not take a failing grade I would say about half of the people in the classroom said screw you doc and he was a doctor and I won't get into his name he's no longer with us I won't disparage him but he was whack as hell for that uh, but he told us that if we did not come to his class that one day and we went to D.C. 
put a million man march he would fail us for the year me being a young guy 21 years of age i decided that i was not going to risk failing for the year so i did not go it's a regret that i've held for this entire 22 years and i'll probably carry to the grave that regret but i was able to atone for that regret 2005 10 years later for the 10-year commemoration of the million man march and what was called the million more movement where there were women and children and men who all came together for a very similar uh, message and it was for the reconciliation and a day of atonement for friends and family and it was one of the best days of my life I was able to pay it forward with regards to my not going to the Million Man March 10 years early and here we are 12 years after the Millions More movement and it is still one of my favorite days uh, of my life so I want to say peace to those folks that i met that day and hopefully some of you guys are listening to me here on legacy internet radio a full <laughs> man it was six years before we even started any of this and this happened but uh hopefully some of you guys have stumbled upon this funny looking guy that you talk to there in dc uh now doing radio ain't no high stuff with marcus j live from the den legacy internet radio at this time of the show it's time for us to get through to our rants and our closings and we're gonna start it off with our sister number 16 yeah 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 yeah, number 16 we discovered it's 17 is it 17 it's 17 it's 17 17. okay all right well damn i'm gonna get it right i'm gonna get it right i'm gonna get it right for the rest of forever q is the 17th (laughs) letter q but again time for you to close it out sis what you got all right again like i've said all day today today has been the mondayest of mondays (laughs) <laughs> um, I guess all I really have to say is definitely be thankful for your tribe. I had a really disparaging thing happen to me today regarding a series that I hold very dear to my heart and has been something that has been really important to me for the last, uh, let me see, six months that I've been hosting it. And, um, in the midst of everything that was going on today, I had so many incredible women who rallied around me, who boosted me, who gassed me up, who also came at me with like some real on brand protection and brand ambassador and um, being a brand ambassador and really explains to me how important it is to stay the course regardless of who gets in your way. Um, sometimes the people that sometimes the people that get in your way look like you unfortunately and instead of tapping out which i was very close to doing because i'm not one who likes confrontation i steer clear from it as much as i can that's why i try to be as even keeled and on the money and on on course with everything that i do so i ain't gotta worry about it but sometimes it happens and instead of recoiling like i got very close to doing today understand that what you have going on is more important than what somebody else's perception of it is um take heed to the people that come to your aid allow them to come to your aid allow them to build into you and not um take away or belittle those things that you're doing that they're doing for you solely because you don't know how to receive it um it's really vastly important that we understand that and not be on some some old um foolishness so definitely us as, as black women in our community we have to pick up each other just like um nicole was saying earlier like and i appreciate her for what she said about everybody doesn't have the same type of events everybody doesn't receive it the same way and we need to be able to um meet people where they are and i really believe that is what a lot of us are set out to do and created to do, Um, especially here in Richmond, because she was right about having an event up in Northern Virginia too. They are way more accepting, let me tell you. So my takeaway for today is call your tribe, be aware who your tribe is, and let your tribe feed you as you need to. Ain't no half step from Marcus J. Live from the Den Legacy Internet Radio. Big sis, the con is yours. Final word for the night. <laughs> am, am I alive? Yeah, you good. Okay. I mean, just remember to put the switch on, and we don't have to like audibly discuss the fact that it's not on. 
because that embarrasses both of us. Then why are you talking about it? Well, I'm talking about it because you always go, am I on? But I didn't say that just now. Whatever, man. Just talk. <laughs> just close us out. Anyway. Damn it. Damn it. Make me sick. Anyway, go to the hospital. I really don't have anything super, you know. It's, you know, it's been a good Monday for me. Finally, y'all. Finally, it's been a good Monday. Um, I don't know, y'all. Just have fun. Just love, love, love. And have some basil. Have some peppers. Eat something healthy. Get a good 30-minute walk in tomorrow. Go outside and breathe five times. Nice deep breaths, come back in, de-stress, feel good. I don't know, I'm just, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good today. So I love y'all and I will speak to y'all real soon. Ain't no hashtag with Marcus J live from the den. Legacy Internet Radio. Thank you, thank you, thank you for rocking with us tonight as we progress through an outstanding, outstanding show. Let me get a few thank yous in. Uh, I want to thank you to Frida, Justin, Michelle, K, Neek, Thomas, Laurel, Leticia, Bryna, Laquita, uh, and Edie all checked in. Uh, many, many, many more folks checked in on Nicole's Facebook Live. Uh, thank you to those folks. Very special thank you to uh, our featured guest of the night, Nicole Fields. Thank you to her with No More Excuses, Inc. Convo with Nikki. Uh, Don't judge me by my shoes. Help me with my walk, uh, which is coming up in the spring. So very, very special thank you to Nicole Fields for being here. Uh, Her sister's in the building. Our sister, Maisha and Sonia, were in the room. Didn't get a chance to rock the mic, but they were here. Sending love to them. Uh, Very special thank you to our sister, Q Boogie, for being here. Uh, S.Y. for being here. And, of course, uh, the first lady of Legacy in that radio comedian that's Lisa P for being here and leading that segment so thank you thank you thank you uh, at this time I always like to remind everybody of all the shows we have here at Legacy in that radio of course you're listening to the flagship show Legacy in the radio you know half step with Marks J we are live from the den every single Monday night uh, until 7 p.m. Eastern until we finish of course I do have an announcement I didn't forget I'm gonna bring it to you in a minute uh, Wednesday night, uh, you have hashtag brother and sister shenanigans. On Friday night, you have Couch Coach Live. Saturday, we have a new balance. We play our replays for our shows throughout the week. We play them in the mornings on Saturdays before we get to a new balance. And then, of course, we have I Got Something to Say that will air right after New Balance, 6 p.m. Eastern on Monday nights. And then uh, we play the Bob Marley and the Family Reggae Mix all night taking you into Sunday morning where we have Amplified Gospel. We play gospel music uh, all Sunday morning. Taking you right up to the 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time airing of the Micah White Show hosted by our brother Micah Bam Bam White, uh, world-renowned comic uh, who's rocking with us here at Legacy Internet Radio. We've got a new show that's going to be joining us very, very soon, uh, as soon as November, not ready to give you all the skinny but it's likely to air 6 p.m on sunday night so get ready for that uh and then of course at 8 30 p.m eastern on sunday nights we've got the show called doing time hosted by sister sonia who you heard call in earlier on and so i mentioned that i've got uh an announcement that i wanted to bring to you guys and the announcement is this uh our show ain't no high stepping marcus J it's just so big it's it's so big that two and a half three hours tonight was just not enough to give you everything that we wanted to give you this week and so this thursday evening 7 p.m live from the dana legacy and that radio you're going to have a second airing of Ain't no half stopping with Marcus J. We will be live from the Dan of Legacy Internet Radio, and our show will feature not one, but two outstanding special guests. The first will be our sister Maya Harris, uh, who will be joining us here 
live from the Dana Legacy Internet Radio. She's got a book signing coming up on Saturday. She's a published author. Uh, she is an entrepreneur. Uh, she is an educator. And she is a Virginia Union University Panther and alum. So there's a lot of love there for that sister. And so she will be joining us on the show. And then, of course, re uh joining the show of course uh our brother micah bam bam white will be on with us on the show thursday night he's going to be with us and the headliner for that particular show this thursday night live from the dan legacy and that radio will be rejoining the show the number one true fighter in america our brother warren ballantyne who will rejoin the show of Legacy Internet Radio. A couple of other guests that we're working on, but that is this Thursday night, live from the Dan Legacy Internet Radio. So if you're listening to us now, the same way that you're listening to us now, you can listen to us this Thursday night, live from the Dan Legacy Internet Radio. Our sister Maya Harris, our brother Micah Bam Bam White, and our brother number one true fighter Warren Ballantyne. Dynamic show. Look forward to it. We're going to be trying to give you more and more programming, not just on this particular show, but across the week. So if you're listening now, you want to hear Maya and Bam and Warren Thursday night, you need to be right back here live from the Dan Legacy and at radio 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we appreciate it. All right. Uh, as you know, we always replay the show in its entirety right after we finish and so it's time for me to close out the show with my rant and my closing and i will be brief no i'm not here's the deal y'all first lady mentioned this earlier stole a little bit of my thunder but i'm glad she did she mentioned cardi b and i'm gonna be honest with you i ain't got the slightest freaking clue who the hell this chick is like i have no idea all I know is that she dominates my wall, my Facebook wall, my Instagram wall, my Twitter wall. And I did a little homework and found that Cardi B out here with the number one record in the country. Everybody's rocking with her. And so there's a couple of different ways that I look at that. One way I look at that, follow the meme that I shared a couple of days ago. Cardi B out here with the number one record in America and you scared to pursue your dreams, you bugging if this shit could do it. And that's no shade towards her because everybody is looking to pursue their own grind. The area that I wanted to go with this rant though is someone like me had to do some homework on who this Cardi B person is. I looked her up. Apparently, she's somebody from some sort of reality show and she does her thing i mean you know no shade she do what she does but i've been looking on my social media for weeks and months and longer and all i hear is this cardi b and this cardi b and this cardi b and this cardi b and i'm like i finally had to figure out who she was and i got friends people that i know people that see me grind people who have been in this room sharing her stuff talking about how great she is these same people who may not have shared my stuff they may not have shared q boogie stuff they may not have shared lisa p's stuff or nicole fields stuff or maisha or sonia or sy or anybody who's been in this room tonight who's grinding who's rocking and who's rolling so my question is what is our obsession with those who we don't even freaking know who if we saw them in the street or saw them in a club probably wouldn't even acknowledge us or would give us the princess wave why do we not support one another and i was talking to one of my favorite people on the planet recently and they told me that there's a level of jealousy that permeates our mindset and i understood it i didn't like it i didn't agree with it i thought it was bullshit but i knew the person was right and so it's my job to try to penetrate that you will not and when i say this look at me clearly in the eye facebook live and hear me 
tune in and legacy in that radio and youtube i ain't going nowhere you will see me and you will hear me no matter what i'm not going anywhere until my dying death dying breath i'm gonna be here Q Boogie's going to be here. SY's going to be here. Lisa P's going to be here. Nicole Fields is going to be here. Maisha's going to be here. Sonya's going to be here. And that's just the people that was in this room. So when we hit, you can come, around, come along the bandwagon. Come rock with us. We're not the type of people that's going to chase you away, but we ain't going to forget. We ain't never going to forget. Remember that. Remember how important it is to rock with the people that you know. Don't be a front runner. Don't be somebody that's only interested in somebody just because you see him on TV. This right here, this legacy in that radio thing, this is a labor of love. This is a labor of opportunity. If you want to come here, you can come. I don't vet nobody. I don't tell nobody they can't rock. All you got to do is come in here and give me a hug and you can come and rock. That's it. You can rock with Cardi B. No shade towards a sister. But keep in mind that the people that are the closest to you are the people that you need to be paying attention to. That's your family. That's your hood. That's your rural or whatever kind of neighborhood you want to call it. Those are the people that you need to rock with. Not some stranger that wouldn't even acknowledge you if you ran up on them in a club. Keep that in mind. Soapbox? Absolutely. Real shit? Absolutely. That's Murr. Marcus's unrelated rant that's got nothing to do with what we in here talking about tonight. It's the end of the show. I want to remind y'all that independence is the key to building your legacy. I also want to say peace to all the stars and all of the squares. In the abundance of water, the fool is thirsty. Those are the words of Bob Marley who you hear singing in the background. Ain't no half-stepping with Marcus J. We will be live from the Den of Legacy in that radio next week. Peace, y'all.